Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. And today in Division 2, we're going to be checking out Cassie's Good, everything restocked. And if you do not know how to find Cassie, you have to locate the snitch first. I will leave a link somewhere up on the top and you can click on it or you can wait till the end of this video and I'll show you a couple locations where you can usually find him every single time. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe and if you like the video, smash that like button. Really helps small channel, but we're getting bigger and bigger every day. All right, first thing she has is the swap chain. Now this is the named MP7 and it comes with perfect unwavering. Swapping to this weapon grants plus 400 weapon handling for five seconds and if you swap to another weapon, it will go away. So if you can chain kills, this literally has no reload at all. It's just like instant and you can just keep going and going. It's very underrated. Although this is a mid-tier role, I honestly would wait till you find a higher role. Even though we have optimization coming out at this point, it is so expensive. It's really not worth unless it was almost like a god role. Now we also have the point man now this is a best in slot tanking item especially if you're looking to hop into the tanking this is one you can get and i would suggest it and it is really good it comes with perfect vanguard deploying a shield makes it invulnerable for five seconds and grants 50 percent of your armor as bonus armor to all other allies now just the average tank will just pop it on cd but if you know when the burst and when it's coming out ideally you can pull out your shield at the right time and stop all that burst especially if you don't have a healer if you have a healer it's just gonna kind of release the weight of, off the healer especially if you're running in that legendary content we also have tip of the spear because of 12.1 percent weapon damage uh, mid-tier roll not too bad we also have True Patriot, a very underrated gear set, and this is not really a tanking gear set. If you can reroll this to red cores, it is really fun, and you are really going to have a blast, especially with like things like Ridgeways and other things. It really makes a lot of builds viable. We also have True Patriot gloves, come with mid-tier armor and health. And we have the aces and eight knee pads. This is the sniper set and it comes with 11.5% weapon damage. Mid tier, I, I really just skip on it. You can probably find something better out in the open world. And more, true patriot, the holster. And we have mid tier armor and mid tier armor regen. Next we have negotiator's dilemma. Now this is a max roll. I would pick this up right away. Uh, negotiator's dilemma, in my opinion, is probably one of the best gear sets in the game. And if you know how to use it right, it is very effective. I have a build that I just made a couple days ago. Go and check it out, Pestilence. And this just go hand in hand. Now that's it for Cassie, but if you're looking for more Division 2 content, go ahead and check out my channel. I have builds, tutorials, news, everything from new players to those veterans. And if you made it this long, you better hit that subscribe. To get to Cassie Mendoza and get her sweet goods, we, we need to find the snitch aka jared nash and he's randomly about the map in different places but he always has the same spawn location so he'll always be in the same places but he's just going to be in different places there's different maps and stuff you can find uh throughout the internet and online through reddit and stuff like that but they really don't help there's a few spots where we can always find them and i'm going to show you how to do that the best spots where i always find them i went through about 50 60 <laughs> different locations where i see online where people always oh, always he's always here no he's never here and the map doesn't help they said that there'll be activities throughout the map and it will disappear when you get close to him but it's not that easy because you can only see the the question marks above his head when you're like 20 30 feet away from him but we're gonna find him and it, it's not gonna be that hard and the trickiest part is gonna be to complete his bounty that he drops so let's get started and show you where he's at guys all right guys first place we're gonna stop by and try to find the snitch at is at the truman safe house it's in foggy bottom and we're gonna be looking for him right next to a little lockbox directly across the street, directly to the west. You can see right where I marked it. So if you have not unlocked that or have not found it yet in the world, it's not gonna show up. So just click on the map there and just start walking there. It's really easy to find. There'll be a couple trucks around the area as you'll see. All right, once you run up the hill, it'll be right on our left. You'll see the lockbox, and you can just usually shoot up the fence. I usually come here first every time because it's new day, refresh get free loot maybe i get something but usually <laughs> never get anything else and jared nash or the snitch he'll be right behind there right behind this truck 
Uh, as you can see, you got to be really close to see him, guys. Uh, he won't even pop up unless you're like 20 feet away from him. And there he is. Luckily, we got him right when we headed to the Truman house. And we're going to accept his bounty. Once you complete that bounty, we'll be able to find Cassie. But I'm going to go into more detail in a sec. We're going to go into a couple other locations. Okay, the next location is going to be the Lincoln Memorial. And we're going to just fast travel straight to that spawn point. And as soon as we get there, we're just going to turn around. And we're just going to start running down, heading towards the Washington Monument. Just heading down there. We're going to hug hug the right side. We're going to see like a little forest, a group of trees. And we're just going to keep running. Usually, he's not here. But every once in a while, he will be. One thing to note is if he's in combat or there's any like fighting NPCs fighting with each other around the map we're not going to be able to find him but today he was here usually when there's nobody here he'll always be here but if there's just one NPC just one dude hanging out he gets skittish and he runs away I think it's just part of it if there's any combat he just won't spawn in I don't know why it is, but let's move on to the next spot. All right, our third spot is going to be over in DZ East. We're not going to actually go in the DZ. We're just going to go to the checkpoint. And the checkpoint is called Charlie Checkpoint. It's the northernmost one up top. You'll be able to find it. And we're just going to leave and head out the door. And we're just going to start heading directly to our right. And you're going to see some ladders up on the side, up on the side of the building. Yep, right up there. And we're going to climb up. And he's going to be up inside these office buildings. Uh, usually would be probably be able to see him right now if he was there. But I don't think he is there this time. So hopefully he's there next time. But I usually don't find him here. But every once in a while you get lucky and it's a really close spot. Alright guys, we are on the final spot. And this is probably the best spot to find the snitch any time of the week. If you come here Tuesday right when the servers reset, I almost find them here every single time. Sometimes I'll just log out and come back to the spot and it's really easy to find them. So we are heading to 1040 Safe House and we are going to be going out the southeast exit today and it's really hard, hard to miss. Uh, this guy's really easy to find and almost there probably 90% of the time, I'd say 9 out of 10 times I come to look for him. He is here, so I would always check here. I just like to check the Truman house just because, you know, there's always loot. So we're just going to head out of the southeast exit and just run straight ahead, going down this windy little path, and we're going to end up taking our left. I ended up taking a little detour because I have tunnel vision and I can't stay on track at all. So we'll head back, but when we go down that path, we're just going to head left. And we're just going to go straight ahead and we're going to take our very next left and you'll just see a little gate and you'll run through and we're going to run through all the way to the end and eventually you'll see that little green triangle over his head and he's back here and there's a weapon box that you can open too and you'll see him there and we're just going to accept his bounty and we're going to grab it. If you already did the bounty, great. And you just got to go and head over to Cassie. 